G'day guys, it's Luke here from Yak Hunters Australia. Welcome to another episode of Yak Hunters TV. So this one's episode two. Uh, we'll be hitting the Hawkesbury River in New South Wales on the hunt for the elusive dewfish. I'm currently driving down from Queensland uh, to meet up with the New South Wales Yak Hunters where we're gonna spend four days on the Hawkesbury River hunting for dewfish. Uh, conditions are quite wet. It is raining, there is some heavy rain predicted uh, this weekend whilst we're down there. So whilst the rain is good uh, for dewfish on the bite in saltwater creeks and rivers, it also isn't the best for filming. So hopefully while we're down there, we can land some cracker dews, get them on video, and hopefully show you guys some epic fish that we're gonna catch this weekend. But uh, time to get back to the driving. Let's get this show on the road. I'll tell you what, driving through Spencer, it's a beautiful little town in the Hawkesbury region. As you come around the windy roads, there's some really nice gullies, some beautiful rainforest, and it's got that nice, cozy little country town feel to it. So yeah, it's a, it's a really nice place. So if you love your country drives, this place is worth checking out. Now that I've arrived, it's time to meet our yak. Hey okay, mate. Yeah. Luke, nice to meet you. Nice to meet you. There you go. Good bro. Hi Pete. Good mate. Good. Congrats on the fish. Yeah. Alright. Hey brother. Yeah. Nice. nice to meet you. Good man. How do you like it? What's wrong? Cause I've seen down ending the night. No point to resist, no other fight. From days to years, just passing by. We lost our tension, lost the light across the ocean of our lives. You know what's wrong to be with you I never felt you wanted to Like all those bodies without fun Like a summer without sun You know what's wrong to be with you I never felt you wanted to Like all those bodies without fun like a summer without sun Before we go any further, let's get to know our yak hunters a little bit better. How's it going? My name's Ty. I'm uh, from Newcastle. I've been fishing with the yak hunters for maybe three or three and a half years. Um, my first came across yak hunters, so I was actually walking my dog down at Spears Point and um, they had a comp on and I got chatting to one of the blokes there and went out and bought myself a kayak. Haven't looked back, so uh, I normally target flatties and brim and whatever's around. I like to go out and chase snapper. Uh, I've always wanted to fish the hawk, hawk's free and um, the weather's not great, but here I am. <laughs> Yeah, hi everyone. My name's Richard. I'm from uh, Yak Hunters, New South Wales. I live in uh, Lake Macquarie. I love to target flathead down at Lake Macquarie. And uh, we're down here at uh, Spencer, having a go in the Hawkesbury for some dewfish. Um, we'll see how it goes. We've got a really bad weekend for it, uh, as per usual. Um, but we're going to give it our best crack. Um, so hopefully, you'll see us with some, some decent fish uh, on the Facebook page. Uh, if, if you're not sure about us, get on the Facebook page, have a look at us. Uh, great bunch of people, uh, have some really good times, and um, yeah, it's well and truly worth it. Get into it. Hello, I'm Jason Rupp, the Apprentice New South Wales. 
um, from Fort Stevens, uh, which is the Newcastle there. Uh, been in the yak hunters for probably about three years now, followed it for 12 months uh, prior. A bit scared to sort of rock up at first because I had a crappy yak at the time. But the um, best thing I did was um, jump on board the yak hunters. Um, don't fish for anything in particular, pretty much chase fish for a month, every month. So something different, um, new areas, new locations, yeah, I really enjoy it. Um, been able to tick off a few firsts during Yak Hunters comps and yeah, <laughs> days out with the boys. Uh, caught my first GBS, so pretty proud of that. Yeah. Thank you. Hi, my name's Tim Jones, um, from Western Sydney. Usually fish probably Middle Harbour, um, Upper Hawkesbury, some fresh water. Uh, just out here with the boys, um, having a good weekend. Fortunately, it's a bit of rain, but anyway, um, still trying. Um, so far, I've caught three brim, a little flathead, a little squid. Um, mostly all off divers, I think. Yeah, all of them off divers. But I've got the Samaki soft five and a Z-Man um, trip swims on at the moment. They're my favourites, so here we go and see how we end up at the end of the weekend. We also had an unexpected yak hunter arrive at camp, who we named Mr. Percival. But you'll get to see more of him throughout the episode. As the yak hunters settle in a camp, it's time to get acquainted with each other over a few coldies and a nice toasty campfire. Dom here from Yak Hunters Australia and welcome to episode 2 of Yak Hunters TV and we're now live at uh, our campsite on the edge of the Hawkesbury River which is about halfway between Sydney and Newcastle. So I drove down last night, a ten and a half hour drive from Brisbane to be here uh, to find some amazing weather to, uh, to meet us here on the, on the banks. So uh, the forecast for the next three days for our filming uh, Gonna be honest, it's not great. Uh, we're gonna be dealing with plenty of rain, but we're gonna get out there and brave the conditions to see if we can get onto our target species for the weekend, which is dewfish. So this afternoon, we're gonna be heading out. Uh, the low tide is around 2, 2.30, and we're gonna try and uh, really attack that slack water to see if we can pick up some dewfish and uh, get out there and have a bit of fun. So there's a bunch of the guys from our New South Wales Jack Hunter page have met us here. Uh, so I think in total we've got about six or seven people that are going to be hitting the water and hopefully get some good footage to share with you all. We'll see you out in the water. Dancing all around. I woke up with a sunrise on the sea. Such a precious gift to me. The salty breeze and the waves. The slow pace. The salty breeze and the waves. I'm out of my place. So 
it's day one, we're out here, we're uh, just about to head out and fish the drop of the low tide on the slack tide. So look, the weather is just relentless. It is pissing down, it hasn't given us a break. It's a very, very wet day. Uh, we hope that this one hour of opportunity and the tide change will give us the, the two fish we want. So we can at least get one for, uh, for day one. The yak hunters return back to camp after a full day's fishing. Okay, so this is uh, the tail end of day one uh, out here on the, uh, the Hawkesbury uh, River. So it's been a pretty tough day uh, all in all. Uh, the weather has been somewhat difficult to, uh, uh, to be out there fishing. It's been raining and, and windy most of the day. Uh, we got out very early for the high tide. We went out again at lunch for the low tide and braved the conditions for a third time. Uh, for the high tide in the uh, in the evening and uh, plenty of jewies were, were sounded up but unfortunately none were brought up on a deck 
However, there were some, uh, some catches throughout the day uh, with a few brim, uh, some flatty, and uh, a unique story that we'll, uh, we'll let someone uh, uh, fill us in on a little bit later on, on another capture uh, that, that, that came in. Uh, but all of pretty tough fishing out there, and we have to give a little bit of a shout out to uh, one of our newest sponsors that's, uh, that's come on deck for uh, uh, this particular uh, Yak Hunters TV. Uh, with a hard day's fishing, it's always nice to come back to an icy cold beer. And we're very, very fortunate to have uh, Green Beacon Brewing Company uh, uh, proudly supporting uh, Yak Hunters, not only for our TV series, but they're going to chip in uh, with some of our comps in the future as well. Um, now, I'm pretty biased, I have to say. For me, it's probably one of the best beers in Australia. Um, we've got uh, the Three Bolt Pale Ale and the Grappler Lager uh, here today. So a big shout out to Ryan Goody. Uh, who, who sorted us out and the boys back at the Green Beacon, Green Beacon Brew, Brew House in Newstead back in, in Brizzy. Uh, so what we might do is just uh, go a little bit of a around the grounds uh, to get some blow by blow for the day. I had one pathetic little brim so that's my story done. Um, I'm going to uh, flip over uh, to Tim on the end just to give us a, a bit of a recap of his day. Yeah, I ended up with a, a brim, a small butted and a little squid. I also had to repair the Mirage Drive as well. So <laughs> that was a good two hour drive back and forth to the boys at HWS. So thanks guys. Shout out to the guys at HWS. Yeah, thanks boys. guys. Yeah. I had a pretty quiet day. Picked up um, three brim out the, the back wall just behind us. Um, not far where I thought it was due on day one. But um, yeah, pretty, pretty tough conditions. But yeah, it's so good fun. I got a probably five or six brim. Uh, a couple of flatty. Um, yes, very ordinary day, uh, weather-wise. Um, but I mean, you know, that's what you got. So you get out there and have a go. Um, sounded a lot of stuff up, um, but yeah, just yeah, very ordinary. So hopefully tomorrow is not as bad as what really weather says. Uh, and we'll go from there and we'll see what happens. If you believe the news crews in Australia, it's going to be a hurricane out here tomorrow, so uh, yeah, we'll see what happens. <laughs> and uh, and uh, water spouts water as well. Spouts. Yeah, <laughs> yeah. Apparently there's going to be water spouts. Um, but uh, the story that I'm most interested to hear about is, uh, is the gentleman here on my left, Ty. Um, tell me about your catcher. Well, I had a very quiet day. I was. Uh, all day just using big lures, I was targeting dew and trying to avoid the brim. <laughs> but uh, on the way back, I've um, yeah managed to catch quite a decent fish. And uh, not with the rod, I caught it in my lap. <laughs> so and it was quite an achievement. I think. Uh, a few times I've been out in the kayak and I've seen, you know, the mullet jumping around and carrying on the way they do and I thought, I wish one of those glasses would jump in my yak one day. <laughs> and uh, today is the day. I was on the way back and a big bloody mullet jumped straight into my lap. <laughs> Unbelievable. Cheering. <laughs> well, look, we did come out here in, in the search for silver trying to get uh, some uh, some jewies. We did get some silverfish in terms of brim, but uh, we will persist over the next couple of days, uh, weather permitting of course, if it's safe enough, safe enough for us to be out there, we will be. Um, we'll uh, tune back in tomorrow, fingers crossed, uh, we'll pull up uh, a nice big dewey on the deck. That's it. Cheers guys. Cheers. 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 So it's day two, I'm currently laying in my swag and I can hear it outside, it's just belting down. It, uh, it sounds like it's absolutely pissing down. Let's have a look. Yeah, it sure is. So today's going to be a tough day of fishing, if we get to fish at all. Just wish this rain would bugger off. It 
seems that even Mr. Percival wasn't too impressed with the weather. Despite the rain, the yak hunters gear up, ready for another day out on the water. But not before conducting a little bit of trench warfare on the campsite first. So, it's day two. We're out on the water, no surprise, it's uh, raining again. But we've had a king tide come through uh, last night and this morning, so we've got a king high and a king low. Uh, hopefully that'll make a difference to the dewies, but uh, look, we're just gonna get wet at the end of the day, so we're just gonna uh, fish through the rain. Uh, hopefully it stays good for us, and fingers crossed, day two will provide a nice dewy for at least one of us. <laughs> A lot of uh, rain's gone through here in the last couple of days. That paired with the king tide and uh, this whole system is just flushed with brown water. The water's really changed its color. It's uh, got a real murky brown. You can see all the turbulent water from the gorges that have just been rushing in and uh, it's really dirty up the water. So, don't know how that's gonna go with the fishing. Might have to change some lure colors or use a different technique, but uh, yeah, hopefully the chewy is still on the bite regardless of this dirty water. We're gonna have a little play around here with a, um, a shallow crank. And soon enough, the yak hunters get stuck into some nice flatty. With the tide change now ended, the yak hunters return to camp to enjoy the spoils of the day. Hey, yo. G'day guys, it's Luke here and welcome to Yak Hunters Kitchen. Uh, the first recipe I'm going to show you guys today is salt and vinegar crumbed flathead. Absolutely beautiful. But to start this, there's a couple of things that you'll need. Firstly, you'll need some fresh flathead fillets. Now we've sourced these locally. There are uh, some prime cuts there. Next thing you need is a couple of eggs. So maybe three to four eggs uh, which you'll need to crack into a bowl and whisk. Alright, some whisk eggs. 
Other than that, you need some salt and vinegar chips. Now, I like the real uh, crunchy chips like these. And all you're simply going to do with those is crush them up finely. You can do so in the bag or by hand and make them up into some crushed chips like this. Ah, so you need uh, some flour, so just plain flour, put that in a pan and some simmering oil, you're going to shallow fry these in a shallow oil. Okay, so first method we're going to do is grab your flathead fillet, all right, and from there we're just going to coat it in the flour like this. A nice fresh flathead fillet, coated in the flour. Once you've got your flathead fillet coated in flour, you're then going to stick it into the whisk egg. So, Dip it in your egg like so until it's nice and slimy and you should have a nice coated fresh flathead fillet. Once you've done that, you can go straight into your crushed salt and vinegar chips. So chuck them in there, give it a roll around, get some nice coating on your flathead fillet. When it's done and you're happy with it, it should come out looking something like this. Nice and coated in some salt and vinegar chips. And all you're simply going to do from there is chuck it straight into your shallow oil that's simmer away. Okay, so these fillets, all you basically do is you shallow fry them until they're uh, nice and golden brown, they start to fall apart, and that's how you know that they're ready. So once your flathead starts to golden up and you realise that it's, uh, it's cooked, it's then time to take it out and enjoy yourself some fresh salt and vinegar coated flathead. Alright, get into it fellas. Mm. What do you reckon of that? That's pretty good now. Beautiful. Good stuff. Oh yeah. Mm. Prove it. <laughs> Salt and vinegar flatty. Good guy. But of course, we couldn't let our other campmates go hungry. Let's just say Mr. Percival wasn't the most coordinated of pelicans. But just like us, he really enjoyed the feed the Hawkesbury River had put on for us all. G'day everyone, Ty from Yak Hunters, and today we're making some chili blue swimmer crab. I'd uh, prefer to do it with mud crab, but we couldn't find any, but we've got plenty of blue swimmers. So. For the recipe, there's a dozen different ways to make it. Just um, go on the internet, watch a million recipes, and just pick out bits of each one. And uh, that's basically what I do, and I pretty much change it every time. So this time, I've got some uh, Chinese cooking wine, sesame oil, chili sauce, chili jam, ginger, garlic, tomatoes, some nice chilies and onion and some brown sugar and that's basically about it so once you prep your crabs make sure you put them on ice first so they go to sleep and all the rest of it and then clean them wash them in salt water and uh, then you fry your crabs up in the pan cook them until they're about three quarters done then you pull your crabs out make up your sauce everything goes back in the pan and that's basically it.
some chili monk crab here. Let's get into it. Yeah, man. Let's do it. Let's do it. Mmm, sauce is fucking good. Yep. Good stuff, Ty. <laughs> Look at that. Sounds good. You're gonna need a shower oh. after this. <laughs> no, that's good. No. <laughs> I'm not leaving. I'll worry about this stuff in my hand. Cheers, mate. Thank you. Thank you. Cheers. Cheers. That sauce is amazing. Oh, yeah. <laughs> I'll call that get fucked sauce. <laughs> oh, there's nothing better. Bloody beautiful. Mm. Alrighty, so we're coming towards the end of day two uh, for our fishing trip down to the Hawkesbury River. Still searching for that elusive dewfish on camera, uh, so there was none caught today. But as far as uh, a few other species, we have been able to uh, get a few in the kayak. So I know there's been a couple of flooding, uh, a few brim that were brought in. So when we went to bed last night, the, uh, the talk was that there was going to be 50 km hour winds, uh, torrential rain and uh, floods, uh, and even water spouts, um, believe it or not. So, we got up this morning and whilst there had been a bit of rain, the conditions were a hell of a lot better than we uh, than we predicted. So we did get out on the water, even had a little bit of a patch of sunshine for about four and a half seconds. Uh, but overall, we uh, you know, we still braved the conditions and we'll head out tonight. So it's going to kick to the other boys here to uh, do a little bit of a recap on, on how their day went. Ty? So I was out and about a fair bit, just throwing class six and managed a couple of small and a little brim and then hook up to a decent money and dropped it and um, yeah that's about how one they went. He did cap it off with the world's best dish though in, uh, in his chili <laughs> crab and I think everybody is, uh, is in agreement with that. <laughs> yeah you can't beat the chili crab. <laughs> um, so I had an open for you to up. I had a couple of waypoints on the way before the first one. Um, so there it was way too windy, so I just turned around and came back and actually started fishing the spot all the boys were in the whole time and we got to a decent buddy. Uh, so we made it about 65. But um, she swam back to see another day. So I've also got another little wind, but that's about it. Yeah. yeah, very average day today. Um, the murkiness of the water is a bit happy for me today. I only managed to sub a 20 centimetre little tailor. But, um, yeah, still have a good day. But, um, yeah, as far as fishing goes, they're going to do very well. Well, hopefully we can make up for it tonight. Uh, when we went out last night, we did manage to spot that we sounded up a heap of dewies, but just couldn't get them to bite. So if uh, weather permitting, we'll get out there again in that search for the elusive dewfish and hopefully uh, we'll get someone on camera to show you all back home. So, we'll get out in the water soon and uh, we'll dump the, uh, the day. So, we'd planned for another full day's fishing ahead, but as we found out on day three, Mother Nature had other plans for us. <laughs> Yep, Camp Yak Hunters was officially flooded.
With the conditions too dangerous to fish, the boys were forced to take shelter to the only dry spot in camp, the local storm. G'day everyone, uh, we're reporting in on day three of uh, Yak Hunters TV at the Hawkesbury River and we are waving the white flag. Uh, the, the rain is howling uh, as is the wind. Our camp has been flooded and uh, we're all sitting here like drowned rats without a uh, dry piece of clothing between us. Um, we are looking to uh, try and pack up soon and, uh, and get away, but at the moment we're, uh, we're hiding out in, uh, in the local store, uh, out of the wind, uh, trying to uh, uh, pick ourselves up and uh, get ready to, uh, to go home. So uh, fellas, uh, what are our final impressions of, uh, of our three days out here in the Hawkesbury? Hard fishing. Hard fishing. Hard weather. So look, the, the weather report when we came down, we knew it was going to be pretty tough. Uh, we guts it out for two days, but it is officially flooding and pretty difficult out there. So we're going to sign off. Uh, hope you've enjoyed our, uh, our trials and tribulations and our adventure. And uh, we'll see you next time for uh, the third installment of uh, Yak Hunters TV. Thanks, guys. Appreciate you watching. So, did we catch any dewfish on our trip to the Hawkesbury? Well, check out the following footage to find out. The elusive Hawkesbury River Dew. I got one. Richard managed to pick up a little 24 centimetre dew on day two. Hey, a dew's a dew, right? Beautiful. But most importantly, Rumphy picked up a 74 centimetre dewfish on day zero before we could get out there with the camera gear. This was his PB dewfish and his very first legal dewy. Well done, Rumphy. Although we thought we'd be out there slaying dewfish for the weekend, this turned into an adventure of a few yak hunters that persisted through some epic weather to create a very memorable trip none of us will forget. Thanks for watching, guys. We hope you enjoyed it as much as we did.